heartbreaking discovery has led to an animal cruelty investigation in San Bernardino County. That's right. 21 starving dogs have been rescued from a home in Ontario. Those dogs, so desperate, were told that they were eating twigs. Yeah. KCO 9's Nicole Comstock live in Ontario with a disturbing story tonight. Nicole? Jeff, some of the neighbors we spoke with said they really do believe that these dogs' owners started off with good intentions and wanted to help them, but simply became overwhelmed. But the family that reported this couple to animal control says that these dogs had been starved and mistreated for years and that something had to be done about it. Pushing his sweet little nose through the shelter cage and closing his eyes to take a snooze. This dog just might be dreaming about the good life. I just thought it was really sad and I just wanted to be able to help them. That a doctor, Jennifer Roku, hopes to give him. I can't understand that. She cringed when she heard about how these dogs were surviving before they were rescued. It's just unacceptable. Fabio Lillion with the Inland Valley Humane Society. She says this dog is one of 21 starving Labrador and Spaniel mixes they rescued from this Ontario home. Well, they do look like puppies, but they're, they're really not. She says they had no food or water, were so malnourished it appears their growth was stunted, and so hungry that when animal control officers arrived, they were eating twigs that fell from trees in the backyard. We will be charging him with hopefully a felony charge. You can see one of the dogs has a massive tumor on its side. Another had a severe head injury and had to be euthanized. We always thought he was a good guy. Uh, he just got overwhelmed. And I think uh, his intentions were nothing to, to abuse these animals. Some neighbors say the son and mother who own these animals set out to help them, but took on too many. Oh, that's her right there. The mother finally came outside and called the cops on us for walking up her shared driveway to get her side of the story. She refused to talk on camera, but said the dogs were never mistreated. They were crying for help. But the neighbor who admittedly reported them says otherwise. They were skin and bones, believe us. Well, the good news is that people have already started lining up at the shelter to adopt those little dogs there. There are still a good amount of them available in case you're interested at the Inland Valley Humane Society in Pomona. Reporting live in Ontario, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.